So, you figure her Cerulege would be the most incredible Pokemon there is, with a new Ghost and Fire and very unique and rare and niche like Shadow Law. And then Skeletor just gets it too and it knocks it out of the park because how incredible diverse this Pokemon really is. And it's really weird seeing that, you know, it, this is the first time they kind of make this revision and all of a sudden they, we have three very distinct sets of what this typing can do and yet Skeletor probably represents the very best there is. What sets Skeletorch apart from other ghost type as a whole is it's very 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 high HP set. 104 is not only quite high, it is quite high for any ghost type. Ghost type tends to be a very good defensive typing, but like I said, rarely do they get a lot of HP. And if they do, usually fall behind in their defenses and it doesn't do that. Defensive 176 in special defense it actually might hold off quite a candle for it. It makes it quite unique and a good defensive type, not even to a tank. And it's speedy enough for a tank. It's 66 base, base speed. Yeah, 66 will do more than fine for most scenarios. 75 in the tag is wild on the low side. It is still usable, but its special attacks were hit off 110. That's actually quite dangerous. That means a lot of moss could be forced to take a lot of damage from this mod. And consider its stab combination of fire and ghost really doesn't have that many moss to take them well. It will most of the time have opportunity of hurting something really badly. And it doesn't really end there. It has two abilities, worse the blaze that usually run, and which is fine and all right, but also got unaware, which kinda enforces the tank viability for it because it means all of a sudden it doesn't really matter how much a Pokemon can set up. Being unaware means you don't care. And since, like I said, it's actually a fairly good defensive type in the Fearing Ghost, we have now a Pokemon that not only can take Resistance Head quite well, but also there is no way of setting up and break it through it. Which means that Skeletor all of a sudden becomes a very niche fire type indeed. The fire and ghost combination in itself is not necessarily perfect. Ghost and fire doesn't necessarily cover each other's weaknesses, it cannot just add up upon each other. For example, you keep the ground, rock, water weaknesses from fire, and you keep your ghost and dark weakness from ghost. However, you get a plethora of resistances that are great. Poison steel, fire, grass, ice, very are not hitting this guy whatsoever, combine that with a nope in U-turns and bug, and a classic immunity in normal and fighting. So overall it's a good defensive type, but it needs patching. However, it should be stated that dark and grass covers most of the worst thing this problem has to deal with, only go in neutral for rocks. So overall it's worth keeping in mind, it's patchable, but it's something to keep in mind when you're building your team. However, when it comes to the mood pool of Skeletorch, here is where it starts out really badly, but trust me, stay with me on this. Its level up isn't necessarily all that great, however, it does get the classic combination of you know, the Will-O-Wisp and the Hex, making it a really good offensive passive Pokemon, and it also gets the usual stab of Shadow Ball and Fire Blast and Flamethrower and whatnot. But you're definitely gonna use this synergy move for this generation as it is really extremely good move in the Torch Song. Torch Song basically is a 80 base power, it's a bit weaker than Flamethrower, but every time you use it, you increase your special attack by one, and that could actually snowball kind of badly. So, consider it has 110 special attack, it is here a scenario where this guy can punish you if you stay in, if you can't beat it, and if you can't resist it. So overall, I like this, but yeah, it needs better fillers to really be on par with the meta. And while the egg moves isn't solving this, egg moves do allow it to do something a bit more niche. First and foremost, it gets recovery and slack off. This means it all of a sudden becomes from a tank to a potential wall, depending on the scenarios. High HP, good defensives, recovery, <laughs> what is not to like here? It really does alleviate some issues that this Pokemon could have been facing and, and solve them, which is phenomenal. But another thing I see that I really kind of liked was the combination of Curse and Belch. You could, in theory, set up a Curse, pop your berry, then capitalize on Belch. I think it's rather niche, but just that options is there is really fun. And combine that with that it has potential of trapping, it could be a bit of a fun set with Curse. I think it would be annoying enough for most players to deal with, and why not do it with Skeletorch? But, as I said, it doesn't solve his main issues, but one should really look into the TMs to make that decision before one say anymore. Because luckily for Skeletorch, here is where it kinda hits off for it. 
Fire types always needs fillers to be able to deal with the things that it could potentially wall it, and rock and ground types are definitely cases where they could. So it's kinda nice to see that it gets solar beam when you use that and seed bomb if you want to capitalize on your physical move pool. It's not ideal, but the option is there, and that is in theory more than plenty. Combine that with that it actually lacks or lacks of earth power to be able to deal with rock types. Earth power might most of the cases be the overall better filler move with it. It will even go so far than say earthquake could be also nice if you want to have a mixed set. And even stomping tantrum. Let's say for example you spam your shadow balls and whatnot. All of a sudden normal types come in. Why not stop in tantrum that guy and just show him who's the boss, right? But overall, it gets the perfect combination it needs to work, but also get a very fair supporting move pool. One thing that stands out here is Imprison. Imprison could, in theory, allow you to check certain checks. For example, let's say you're actually facing off against a ground type. You know Earthquake is its main move of attacking you. What if you carry an Earthquake on your own and just Imprison it and make sure yeah, it can't use it? I really can't say enough more than that. It's a phenomenal option to have. While it's not perfect, just the option is there is great. It also gets flame charge build to boost its speed. And not like you need it, but you can do it. And the fire spin, of course, together with curse, could be a phenomenal combination. Overall, I think Skeletal Urge is one of the more fun implementation of this game and it's so diverse and defensive it, from a Pokemon I didn't expect to be it and it will represent quite a complex niche for this game actually. So what type of sets do I expect in the early meta at least? Well, I for sure will expect people to use Torch Song in every set and I have expecting Shadow Ball to be the filler or will o -Wisp and Hex if you want to combine with that then Slack Off. I think that's gonna be the easiest more neutral set and then I think a choice spec set or scarf with torch song will be just phenomenal mainly because I think that can snowball rather easily if with scarf you can actually outspeed quite a few months Six six base speed will allow you to beat 110 months which there aren't that many months in this previous or early meta I also like the idea of potentially having a substitute set with leftovers and basically go to town. I think the timing allows for setup and it allows for substitutes and just this mod can be rather annoying. I even believe a, a utility offensive set with Assault Fist and Earth Power and Torch Song, Shadow Ball and Seed Bomb or whatnot will be just fine on this guy. There are so many options, it's just what do we want to do? Um, like I said, it has Fire Spin and Curse and Encore. I think that would be so annoying to deal with if you get it done right and within prison. It can definitely shut down some sets and that it also very niche and will definitely make great use out of this mount. It has a good defense and it's going to help it quite a lot. And even if you mouse that deals with it well, they might not KO it and it might be able to KO them in return. And that just makes Skeletor one of the most diverse Pokemon for this generation. So it kind of looked kind of bad from the get-go, but then the move pool kind of opened up and all of a sudden we have just an incredible fire type and I can't wait to use it myself in the future here. So as always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me for more, well, moveset videos and future battles with, of course, Skeletor. So that's it, thank you for watching and take care on, right? Bye.